everyone. My name is Leah, and I am a librarian here at the San Ramon Library. I'm here today for the latest episode in our Book Talk It Up series, where we talk about books that you can download for free at ccc.overdrive.com or on the Libby app. You can also place holds on print copies of these books at ccclib.org. So why did I say these books, you ask? Great question. Today, I'm actually reviewing two books by the same author, Boxers and Saints, and they're both by Jean Lun Yang. In addition to having the same author, they deal with the same event from different perspectives. The event in question is the Boxer Rebellion, which took place between 1899 and 1901 in China. And it took place between um, Chinese nationals and the various um, foreign, mostly European forces that were then occupying their country. So the first volume in this series, Boxers, tells the story of Little Bao. He's a young man from a small village in Shandong province, and he recruits an army of ordinary men and later on women who train in martial arts in order to drive out what they perceive to be the foreign occupiers of his country. And in so doing, they call down the help of ancient Chinese heroes, including various gods and the first emperor of China. But the European colonizers aren't the only people that they attack. Little Bao's group also goes after what they see as secondary devils, by which they mean Chinese converts to Christianity, whom they see as having adopted foreign ways. The second volume, Saints, tells the story of a Chinese girl who is rejected by her family of origin and converts to Christianity. Her path crosses with Little Bao at more than one point in the story, and that story is also told in the first volume from Little Bao's perspective. She's initially known only as Four Girl by her family because she's the fourth girl, but when she meets a Chinese Christian man and his wife, and grows closer to them, she decides to convert to their faith. And she then takes the name Viviana, by which she's known throughout the rest of the book. So where Little Bao saw visions of Emperor Qin Shi Huang, though, the first emperor of China, Viviana has visions of a young European woman who turns out to be Joan of Arc. She and Little Bao cross paths, but they don't meet until the very end of each of their stories with tragic results which are explored from both his perspective and hers. Now, the author, Jean Yang, has specifically said that he did not want to paint either side as all good or all evil. And I think this really shows in both volumes of this series, because Little Bao and his brother disciples hurt innocent as well as guilty people, Chinese and foreign alike. And Viviana can be certainly irritable and bad-tempered, and both the European and Chinese people she meets have flaws, as all humans do. The events described in Boxers and Saints, specifically the events of the Boxer Rebellion, brought about much needed change, but they did not do so without loss of life. And it's a credit to Yang that he does not gloss this over. So I would recommend these books to anyone who enjoyed other graphic novels by Yang, especially American-born Chinese and Dragon Hoops. I would also recommend them to anyone who wants to learn more about Chinese history and culture in what I consider to be a genuinely dynamic, gripping story. So I hope you enjoy these books as much as I did, and please join us again next time for another staff pick.